Is data analyst a right career choice for me? I have received this question from so many people and we are going to discuss the answer in three steps. Number one, we'll talk about current job opportunities and future growth. Number two, we'll discuss salaries. Third, given your current age and past background, should you learn data analytics? And even if you learn it, what is the probability that you will get a job? Let us discuss job opportunities and future growth. Since this is about data analytics, we are going to get some numbers on number of jobs available right now. You can go to chat GPT and ask what type of job titles should I search for for a data analyst jobs? It will give you a list of titles. Now you can take these titles, go to nokri.com, LinkedIn jobs, whatever job portal you prefer and try to find number of jobs available. You will find thousands of jobs. You can also search using a skill, for example, Power BI, Tableau, etc. And there also you will find different type of job roles such as Power BI developer, Power BI analyst and so on. This shows that there are many jobs. Now, as of November 2023, number of applicants are more compared to number of jobs, which means the job market is weak, especially for freshers when you apply for jobs you're not getting interview call or it is very difficult to get interview calls. I can understand that it's just a supply and demand dynamics, but it doesn't mean that people are not getting jobs at all. We have a data analyst bootcamp and recently one person with seven years in civil engineering got a job. There are many others who are getting jobs as a fresher. As per our analysis, number of jobs are going to grow in the future because Power BI, which is one of the prominent data analytics tools, has around 12 million user base. If you think about Excel, that has 750 million users and Power BI is nothing but Excel on steroids. And many businesses have started using Power BI for their data analytics needs, which means majority of those people who are using Excel right now, they will learn Power BI at some point. And the demand for the people who know Power BI and data analytics will grow. In my company, Atlic Technologies, we also work on client projects. We have more than 80 people working for variety of projects. Most of these projects are for US based clients. I myself have worked for Bloomberg, which is world's biggest financial data and analytics company for more than 12 years. And based on my industry connections, I'm clearly seeing an increased adoption of Power BI, Tableau and variety of data analytics tools. This means that the demand for the people is going to grow. Right now, the economy is a little bit weak because of that companies budgets might be restricted and therefore they may not be hiring too many data analysts but these things will likely change in the coming years. Now, one may argue that while companies will have more data analytics projects, these projects will be done by ChatGPT or code interpreter. Well, you're right. Data analyst jobs are going to go away for those people who are data analyst 1.0. But if you're data analyst 2.0, AI will actually help you in getting a job and also growing in the job. Now, if you're confused what is data analyst 1.0 and 2.0, then please go watch this video. Let's talk about salaries. In India, the salary range for data analyst is anywhere between 6 lakh per annum to 50 lakh per annum. In USA, it can be anywhere from 80K to 300K dollar a year. Now, the salary depends on three factors, which is your experience level. Of course, if you are a fresher, you're going to get less salary. For for an experienced person, it will be more. Second, it depends on your location. Let's say if you're in Bangalore or New York, you will get higher salary. But if you are in some remote town, you will get less salary. Third, it depends on a company. If you're going for some big tech company, Amazon, Google, or the company which has a big budget, you will get higher salary. And going for a smaller company, you will likely get less salary. Talking about higher end of salary, it can go to 50 lakh per annum or even one crore. The co-founder of this YouTube channel, Hamanan Vadivel, was a data analytics manager in Europe where he worked for six or seven years. And then due to family reason, he had to move back to India. He was working from India, working from home for a Europe based company and he was making close to one crore rupees. So this type of salary is possible when you reach to that kind of state. It is not just about technical skills. Of course, you have to be sound in technical skills, but more importantly, you have to be really good in your communication, business understanding, analytical thinking, critical thinking and all those soft skills. Now let us discuss how suitable is this career for you given your past background. The first question I will ask you is how much interest do you have in coding? There are many people, let's say they, their age is 35, 40, 
uh, their past background is in let's say mechanical engineering or HR and they say that I don't have much interest in coding it could be any reason but there are people who will say I don't have much interest in coding for those folks data analyst can be one of the possible career choices it is not the only career choice because in IT industry there are other roles such as Salesforce admin UX designer all these roles also require very less coding in many data analyst jobs you will be using low code or no code tools power bi for example is a low code tool where you do some coding obviously in dax etc but majority of the things can be accomplished using drag and drop now say you have a lot of interest in coding in that case you can pursue other career as well in addition to data analysts such as data engineer data scientist software developer etc if you talk about data analysis jobs majority of the jobs requires less coding but then there could be jobs where they say okay we require python coding okay so obviously you'll have to learn coding for that but remember that there are many many jobs which will require less coding after you have answered this question how much coding you like the next step can be to take a data analyst suitability assessment test this is something that is designed by Haman and Vadivel who has years of data analytics industry experience he has interviewed so many people and this 15 question test will take you only five minutes to complete in the end it will give you a score less than 68 percent match or 95 percent match etc once you know that this is a good match the second step will be to go to YouTube search code basic sales insights you will find one playlist which will teach you power bi it will also teach you how industry projects are executed step by steps using this playlist many people have learned many people have gotten a job you can read the comments look at the views but this playlist will give you an understanding of whether you like data analysis work or not it's like a trial run that you are doing and that trial run will give you an answer on whether you like this type of work or not I would suggest not to spend money on paid courses. I myself have many paid courses on codebasic.io. I will say do not even buy my courses. First finish that playlist and based on that you will get more clarity on the next steps. Now say you like the experience of building sales insights dashboard through that playlist. The next step just in case if you don't want to spend money on paid courses is go to YouTube search for code basic data analysis roadmap here I have given week by week study plan for learning the skills using free resources this roadmap will require three months to finish if you're giving four hours every day the next question you may have is how about my past background I have worked as a recruiter for a few years I would like to give example of Ankur Sharma who was an HR recruiter he learned some technical skills such as Power BI and then he transitioned as a HR analyst. Okay, so you can utilize your past domain experience and become data analyst in that field. Let's say you have experience in healthcare, you can become healthcare data analyst. You have experience in finance, you can become finance data analyst. I have an entire playlist where I have interviewed people who transitioned from non relevant background. For example, Rohini Krishnamurti was a nurse, then she had few years career break as a mom. Now she's working as a data analyst. Suryansu and Arijit Sadhu had become degree. Right now they are working as a data analyst in top firms. One may argue, all right, there are few exceptions, but folks, I know so many people, I can't interview them all. That's why I have only few videos here. But trust me, there are so many people who are transitioning to data analyst field from a non-technical background the other concern people may have is age let's say I'm 40 years old can I do data analysis let's look at the example of Ashish Babaria who started learning data analytics at the age of 44 right now he's a data analyst and a Microsoft Power BI community representative this is a big achievement and he started learning all these skills at the age of 44 then we have Michelle Santos who was a physiotherapist until the age 47 then he started learning data science data analytics at the age of 51 he got a job as a healthcare data analyst 
The smart thing he did is he utilized his healthcare domain. When he was working as a physiotherapist, he acquired a lot of domain knowledge and then he learned technical skills to become a data analyst in his own domain, which is healthcare. You can watch this age versus learning video if you want to know more. That's it, folks. I hope this gives you some clarity on deciding if data analyst is the right career for you or not. If you have any question, please post in the comments below. I and Hamanan have years of industry experience. We have actually interviewed a lot of people for data analyst position and we will help you answer your questions we'll try to answer as many comments as possible so any question please post in the comment box below